At least you didn't contaminate the crime scene this time. So, we've got a serial killer. <laughs> you think so? Genius! Clearly the same MO as the last one. Didn't realise you were Amish. What? Don't you own a TV? What are you talking about? Because even if you never had to learn police work like the rest of us plebs, anybody on the TV knows that it takes three bodies to make a serial killer. You know what I mean. You're just being pedantic. Pedantic? And here's me thinking pedanticness is the most important attribute of being a competent detective. Just, just tell me what we have. I guess I'd say he's been here five or six weeks. So he was killed, what, a month before the other one? <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. <sighs> See how roughly these bones are cut. This work is much cruder than the first one. The other one was more controlled, neater, almost surgical. Practice makes perfect. Have you noticed, noticed the most obvious difference yet? Uh... Come on, detective, you can do it. The dates on the walls. What? The numbers. Different numbers from the other scene. No, the body! Uh... Has he removed the heart this time as well? Hard to tell before the autopsy. He's too far gone. But there's blood around the mouth and nose this time. Not inconsistent with having your chest ripped open. But we're going to be all night. Put her out of her misery. Unlike the previous victim, this one hasn't been restrained. Well, drugged? I hope so. We'll run a pathology report, but given the state of the body, we might never find out for certain. Do you... Do you think he was alive when when he was cut open. Yeah, it's possible. Look, ready for your close-up? 